Hello, Anthony Hudson with you for tonight's game between Port Adelaide and Geelong. With me in the box for this match will be Gary Lyon. Welcome, Gaz. Thanks, I know I'm very excited about tonight's match. Well, the big game here tonight will be between Port Adelaide and Geelong. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. We know the scoring capabilities of both teams, so it's all about the defence of both sides. If this turns into a shootout, it becomes about which team holds up better defensively. They run on in full confidence, they're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play today. That's true, Hutto. It's a true Port Adelaide tradition. We'll never stop, stop, stop. Till we talk, talk, talk. It's history here in the making. We've got the power to win. We'll never give in. The captains prepare for the toss of the coin. Port Adelaide winning the toss. Both these teams coming off losses. Just waiting for the opening siren now. We're set to begin things here at the Adelaide Oval. Poor handball causes a turnover. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. What can you tell us, Gaz? This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy it. Dishes it off to a player on the run. Dangerfield dishes it off. Intervening brilliantly was Hartlett. Got the hands free. Cleary onto the ball. Goes by foot. Takes an uncontested mark. Going for goal number one. Sends it home. West off getting the crowd involved. He's kicked the first goal. Back in the middle, has the rucks go at it. Stanley does well. Clears the congestion. Getting in the way was Hickson. Wins the ruck duel. Keeps it moving. Has a man running for him. High tackle. Sinks the slipper into it. Nice hands. Chose to kick it. Takes it well. 45 metres out, about to take the kick, slight angle. Motlock, is this the moment? He was celebrating that goal the moment it left his boot. Of course, Hunter. He put through his first goal, celebrating hard. We're back in the middle to resume play. Tap came from Dixon. Dangerfield puts the handball out in front. Intercepted by Devers. Power Pepper kicks hurriedly. Gets a quick kick away. Picked up by Burton. The contest, no match for him. You're right, Hutto. Takes the mark all by himself. He takes it across the line. The ball is coming back into play. Guides it down. He's got the football now. Able to release the kick. Uses the bump. Hawkins loves the handball. Henderson quickly onto the boot. Burn Giants found some space and marked. Decides to kick. Boat has a great set of hands. Moves the ball along the wing. Rosie marks. A chance here to convert for Port Adelaide. Puts it on the boot. Great mark. 30 metres out. Going for goal number one. Pinpoint accuracy from Williams. 
He loved that one. A fast start by Port Adelaide. Back in the middle. Jenkins palmed it down. Scoops up the ball. Dangerfield hunting with authority. Great tackling technique. Uses the hands instead of the body, and it's a free kick. Strong with the body and wins the mark. 40 metres from home. You'd expect this one to sail through the middle. Cockatoo goes for it now. Hot punt straight through the middle. He celebrates hard after that. Geelong kick there first. The umpire set the bounce to restart the game. Picked off the deck. Power Pepper goes with the kick. They can create from this. Just gets the kick away. Finds the loose ball. Rushes with the kick. Sutcliffe might kick a goal. Nurses that ball through the big sticks. He's enjoying every second of it out there. Gets his first. He's enjoying that goal. Port Adelaide leading by three goals. Back with another set of bounce. Stanley won the duel. The loose ball scooped up. He's got the footy in his hands. Receives the handball and takes off. Takes possession. Dahlhouse missed the teammate with the handball. Slams it onto the boot. Jonas marks it. Jonas has resources out wide. Marks all the line. Ebert slams it onto the boot. Ends up marking uncontested. Slams it on the boot. Goes off the ground. Collected by Dangerfield. Tui gets the handball away. Doesn't take the mark. Picks it up. Rowan going for number one. Chalk a goal up for the Cats. He acknowledges the crowd. Geelong now only trailed by 12. The game is back underway. Won it down. He gets his hands on the footy. Pushes through with power. Quick hands, and they could be away here. Just gets it onto the boot. Doing well to intercept that kick. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Port Adelaide forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Does well to cut off the kick. Punches the kick. It's marked by Burton. With a driving kick. Great grab. Moved on by Westhoff. Parfit takes it well. Uses a short handball. Well collected. Kick by Dixon. A big contested grab. Williams moves it now. Can't take the mark. Releases the handball. Dangerfield goes to the man on the run. Sweeping handball. Good mark. And looks to send it back. Decides to kick. Burn Jones marks up contested. A low stabbing kick. Plenty to analyse from the first quarter, Gaz. Port Adelaide grew up and about early, and I bet the coach would be happy with this lead at quarter time. Let's analyse the stats. Geelong haven't been able to get the ball forward enough to score. They need to get some repeat entries inside 50 to generate some scoring. Ready to go for the second turn. We're back in motion. Stanley hurls it away. Rockley just put it on the boot. Henderson doesn't take the mark. Taylor releases the ball. Just put it on the boot. Hurried kick. Jonas didn't mark it. Finding the loose ball was Rowan. With quick hands. Kicks hurriedly. Stuck the mitts out there and held onto it. Henderson took his eyes off the ball. Marks in a bit of space. Dangerfield rushes with the kick. The ball finds itself to the boundary. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of football. A clean pick-up. Rowan steers it towards goal. Oh. 
Geelong reduce the margin. Deciding where to go with the kick in. Takes the mark. Puts boot to ball. He gives chase to the footy. Puts on a bump. Gathers it now. Well taken at ground level. Finds the loose ball. He takes aim. That looked great. What a goal. That will settle the nerves. Gets his first on the ball. They get around him after that effort. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. He did really well there and gets the reward. Geelong just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. He drives it towards goal. Ball hits the deck. Jenkins just bangs away at goal. Gets some reward for his efforts. Geelong now only trailed by 11. About to resume play. Thumped by Stanley. The loose ball scooped up. Great tackle. Gets a handball away. Menegola wins the foot race. Has a runner alongside him. Picked up by Cleary. Releases by hand. Quickly onto the boot. A chance to reload the attack now. Got boot to ball. Marks that ball uncontested. A chance to put one through here for Geelong. Going for goal number one. Intercepts the ball well. Works it from the back half. Great mark in the pack. Cleary kicks it out of defence. Burton has resources out wide. Gets into some space to mark this. Port Adelaide have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. Great tackling there, Hutto. Guthrie cuts it off. Gets a quick kick away. Ends up turning this ball over. Spears the ball. Finds a bit of room to mark. Wins the race to the ball. Fumbles the ball. Dug out the loose ball. Big tackle. Going for goal number one. Manages to get the journey, but not the accuracy. Geelong behind by 10. Unsure of their next move. Decides to play on. Goes with the kick. Ball picked up. Thank you. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. Nice work for Tui. Port Adelaide haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect the forward to kick a winning toe of that one. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Geelong close the gap to four. About to resume hostilities. Punches are clear. He gains possession. Slams it onto the boot. Terrific mark there. Mocklock moves it now. Guthrie runs after the ball. Pretty lucky to get that free. Duncan uses it by foot. The mark has been taken. Tui puts it on the boot. Stephen leading the race to the loose ball. Gives it to Rowan. The ball finds its way out of play. Cockatoo running off for a break. Umpire calls for a throw-in. Ball back into play. Dixon picks it up. He wins possession. Charges with intent. Stephen just gets it onto the boot. Jenkins pushes through with power. Jenkins just throws. Now with a low spearing kick. The mark is taken by Burn Jones. Elects to kick it long. Worked hard to get on the end of that. 
puts it on the boot spills the mark rushes with the kick clear free just put both hands in the back keeps the kick low simply outplayed his opponent uses it now finds himself in space and marks the kick from Connor Jasny Hawkins looks to get onto the football good mark there 20 metres from home an ideal position to be kicking from big moment to get the lead with this kick Parfit loves that goal they're in front we resume hostilities Jenkins thumps it clear takes a strong move half time and it's a long 32 to Port Adelaide 30. the Cats have controlled the play well and deserve this lead at half time what stands out for you guess Port Adelaide needs to do a better job and gain more clearances at the moment they're getting beaten in the contest and it's affecting the scoreboard much appreciated Gaz. with so much on the line I'm looking forward to this second half Ready to begin proceedings in the second half. We're back in the middle now. Swatson, Duncan has the ball. Jonas takes it strongly. Winds up and goes long. Intercepted. Fantastic tackle. Hands that ball to the opposition. Didn't get low enough with the tackle. Pal Pepper, unable to lay the tackle, wants to keep it moving. Hacking it out of there. Finds this one all by himself. Chips it towards half forward. Picked up now. Gets the loose ball. Selwood gets in the way. Picked off the deck. Menegolic. There to mop up. What a lovely goal from there. Pretty happy with that one. Geelong by eight points. Centre bounce. Stanley clears the contest. Ebert picks up the loose ball. Pal Pepper hacking it out of there. Gathers it now. A lot of possessions for him. Good grab there from Dangerfield. Geelong have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. He's leading the ranking points. He's the most dominant player on the ground at the moment. Decides to keep going. Jenkins with the opportunity. Look at him, he really enjoyed that one. That's five in a row for Geelong. Now they lead by 14. Thump clear. He has the ball. Well taken at ground level. Hawkins got hands to it. Burn Jones dug out the loose ball. Jonas throws the ball away. Chose to kick it. Marks now and can send it back. Burgoyne kicks it. Jenkins, hurried kick. He looks like he needs a spell. Out of bounds, right on the 50. Parfit getting a chance for a break. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? This is a classic game we're seeing right now. Rosie, read it best. Rosie, just throw it. Elects to kick. Selwood gets on the end of this. Slams it on the boot. Doing well to intercept that kick. Watts sends it into space. He spears the ball. Over the top of the pack. Jonas, slick with the hands. Motlock blinks with a teammate who can run with the ball now. Blitzarms now takes possession. Dalhouse leaps over the top. Releases the handball. And now Stephen racking up possessions now. Dangerfield puts on a big hit. Motlock shrugs off the tackle. Manufactures the handball. He's got the footy in his hands. Lysette has a teammate on the move. The ball will be coming back. 
Blitz Arms presents and takes the mark. Geelong could allow too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. With a driving kick. Looks like the ball will be coming back. The distance might be just beyond him. Boat with the shot. Couldn't take it, Duncan. Failing to get near it, Gaz. You're right, Hutto. He's gone missing lately. He runs it over the line. Thrown in now. Releases it under pressure. He just can't get out of the action. Tui was taken high in the tackle. Tui kicks hard along the boundary line. Duncan marks it. Moves it by foot. Takes that one strongly. Uses it by foot. Winning the ball in the air was Dangerfield. Chips it towards half forward. Selwood gets on the end of this. 50 metres out. Going for goal number one. It somehow fits over the line, and it's a goal. Selwood celebrating hard. Geelong, 50. Play Port Adelaide, 30. Umpire ready to resume play. Stanley with the punch. Releases the handball. Duncan charges with intent. We'll have another ball up. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'd really love it if these teams took the contest to the next level. What a goal! Smiles all round. Geelong have kicked the last seven goals. The lead is now 26. Turned it over. Scoops it up, just gets it onto the boot. Tackle locks the ball loose. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. Works it across the ground. He gets above the crowd. Geelong could allow too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Good mark and looks to send it back. Menegola drives the kick. He takes the mark. Jenkins looks to build some momentum with this kick. 45 metres out. Already kicked a couple of goals. This for number three. His teammates rush over. That's eight in a row for Geelong. 32 points the difference. How did you see the third term, Gaz? Geelong walk into three-quarter time with the lead and the confidence they can win this game. Let's have a closer look at the stats. Geelong getting plenty of possessions at the moment. Thanks for that, Gary. Umpire ready to begin the last term. We're back in motion. Clears the contest. Gives a don't argue. Eber gets the ball. Just put it on the boot. Needs a bit of a rest. It's off the line. Margin in a really tricky situation. Henderson plays it to himself. Henderson kicks hard along the boundary line. And the ball trickles over the line. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? This game needs a spark at the moment. He gains possession. A must-kick goal here. By getting the crowd involved, Port Adelaide behind by 25. Hammers it with the ball now. Just put his hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. Strong mark in the contest. Looks to move it by foot. Well collected. There'll be a ball up, close to goal. Stanley with the hit. Moved on by Stewart. 
Ball picked up. Stewart heading to the bench. And we'll get a ball up. Winning it was Jenkins. Ends up with Hamlet. Easily takes the mark. Geelong have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Menegola throws the ball away. Hartley, a long driving kick. Henderson looking to track down the footy. Slams it under the boot. Scoops up the ball. Getting pushed out of the way was Stewart. He gets his hands on the footy. He wins possession. Picks up the loose ball. Looking to kick goal number two. Oh, what about that? That was really special. Cockatoo couldn't be happier with that goal. Geelong is starting to take control. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. When the forwards are marking the ball so cleanly inside 50 like they are now, it must give Geelong a lot of confidence, especially when the pressure is on. Puts on a big hit. Jenkins goes with the kick. Ebert not getting much of it, Gaz. Well, he hasn't had the impact we were expecting. Connor Jasny runs after the ball. Just landed in his back. They can take the sting right out of the game here. Go for goal number one. He kicks that goal with purpose. No doubt about it. He's excited about that one. Geelong have kicked the last two goals. The margin is 37. This is how they can score, Big Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Geelong need to think more about the kick going forward. They're just bombing it in and it's getting cut off at the moment. Burgoyne goes by hand. Handballs to a teammate on the run. Doing well to intercept that kick. Sinks the slipper into it. Motlop used the body to take that mark. 35 metres out. The kick will be from a 45 degree angle. He takes the shot. Listen to the fans celebrate as he drives that through. Yes, I know. Another goal. He's kicked a couple now. They get a desperately needed goal. He acknowledges the crowd. Guided down nicely by Dixon. Goes by foot. Motlock gathers it now. Never really looked like going through. Port Adelaide produced the margin. Henderson with the kick in Judy's. Plays onto himself. Looks up with the kick. An easy grab for Taylor. Geelong have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game's going right now. He might kick a goal. The handball hits the target. Harper didn't mark it. Power Pepper wins it back. Rushes with the kick. Just goes bang. At full stride, receives the handball. Kicks hurriedly. Found space for an easy mark. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Geelong forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Henderson looking for options now. Plays on. A low stabbing kick. Gathered by Guthrie. Keeps it moving. Missed the target. Just gets it onto the boot. Dixon looking to track down the footy. Duncan found a way to mark that one. Duncan has resources out wide. Collar Jasny elects to kick. Henderson has a great set of hands. 
Moves the ball by foot. Cleary collects the loose ball. Finds a target. Kick by Watts. Marking in space for Williams. Goes for the goals. Couldn't quite nail that kick. Port Adelaide now only trailed by 28. Takes a simple grab. He drives it. Intercepts the ball well. Moves the ball along the wing. And the mark will be paid. 50 metres from home. Westhoff uses it by foot. Takes the mark all by himself. 40 metres from home. Lysette going for number one. No issues with that drop punt. Gets some reward for his efforts. Port Adelaide could kick back-to-back -back goals. Port Adelaide close the gap to 22. Thrashes it. He has the ball. Stephen handballs. Pushing it back. Burn Jones just landed in his back. Sweet. They put through another. That's number three. The lead has been increased by Cockatoo. Congratulated by his teammates. What a game. What a comeback. It kept me biting my nails to the very last minute. Well, Gaz, how did you see that match play out? They just had more players playing their role today. And when footy is so even these days, that was the difference in the end. Thanks for that. At the final siren, it's Geelong defeating Port Adelaide, 80 to 52. Thanks for joining us. As always, it's been a pleasure. We look forward to seeing you back soon. It's been a pleasure, Hutto, and we'll catch you next time. Yo!